Hello, and welcome to Chapter 7. Atomic Structure and the Periodic Table The AP Curriculum requires you to know atomic structure and electron configuration, refer to Unit 1, 1 1.5. This is covered in Sections 7.3 to 7.11 in the E-Chapter. Also, the AP Curriculum requires you to know photoelectron spectroscopy, PES, refer to Unit 1, 1 1.6. This is covered in section 7.12 in the E-chapter. Finally, the AP curriculum requires you to know the periodic trends, refer to Unit 1, 1 1.7. This is covered in sections 7.13 to 7.15 in the E-chapter. In this chapter electromagnetic spectrum, which involves memorization of different radiations with their corresponding wavelengths and frequencies are introduced. A few calculations of frequency, wavelength and energy, along with applications of Planck's equation are addressed. Bohr's model of hydrogen atom is introduced. Make sure you learn absorption and emission spectroscopy. This is covered in section 7.3 of the E-chapter. Heisenberg's principle and Schrödinger equation are covered in sections 7.4 and 7.5. This leads to the understanding of the quantum mechanical model, covered in sections 7.5 and 7.6. The AP curriculum does not require the quantum mechanical model and the quantum numbers. However, we feel you should absolutely learn this, as it would be a smooth transition to Pauli's exclusion principle the Aufbau's principle, and the Hun's rule. The AP curriculum does require you to know Pauli's exclusion principle, the Aufbau's principle, and the Hun's rule. You must also know the electron configuration for atoms and ions using the Aufbau's principle. This is covered in section 7.8 in the E-chapter. Following this, learn and understand the abbreviated electron configuration. Remember, the AP curriculum does not require you to learn the correct abbreviated electron configuration for chromium, copper etc. Probably the curriculum committee does not like d-electrons. Follow this by learning photoelectron spectroscopy, PES, a topic required only by AP chemistry curriculum. Finally learn the periodic trends. Note, all these topics are covered in enough depth to help you understand and master this chapter. Last but not the least, practice the interactive multiple-choice questions with solutions before embarking on the unique homework.